Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, so for some reason, there was a server wipe, and I didn't know about it. Uh, it was actually after the last episode that I recorded, which was done just after the last update, patch, whatever, and go to log in, and my character was gone. So I had to go and do the usual stuff. I went and docked the airlock, and checked out the, the derelict over there. I didn't find anything. But what I want to do today is I actually want to see if I can find a command module. I was looking in uh, the Steam discussions, and some people have said they found it around Broken Marble, which just happens to be close by. Oh, I do have my reticle on. I wasn't paying attention. I'm so used to not seeing it. All right, so I got my reactor online already. So where is Broken Marble? Broken Marble. This is where we want to go to. What do we have here? A listening post. Hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and warp out here. Uh, let's get a bit of a wider orbit, I think. Now, how do they change this? Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that'd be... Is that inclination we're changing? No, it's not. Oh, that is quite the inclination, though. Hmm. It doesn't really say about the numbers, what these are. All right, that'd be apoapsis, peri periapsis there. Uh, I think that it said the first number was inclination. Yes, it is. Uh, last number is... Guess, just whereabouts in the orbit you're going to appear. So that is fine, because we're just going to warp out here and do a bit of a scan. So let's go and warp here. Uh, should only need one warp cell. Same, oh, wow. That's a lot of juice to get out there. Offline? Bullshit. There we go. Now it's online. Okay. And where are we going? We are going over to Broken Marble. This is what we're doing here. So let's see if I can drop the the warp time by activating more cells. Okay, so it's five minutes there with three. And that is weird. Hmm. Because supposedly you're supposed to need two warp cells for this. That it was one warp cell to go change orbit, two warp cells to go from a planet to a moon, and then three to go from planet to planet. But is it, it is allowing me to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I'll bring you back once we come out of warp. And there she is, the broken marble. Uh, I think it was the first time I've actually been here, but they definitely good, did a good job on it. It was like they're using uh, bump mapping to get the lighting on the actual planet, even though as far as I know, you can't even interact with the planets as far as I know uh, they are adding a few more planets in the future and I can't wait to see them uh, but this this particular planet is supposedly a military zone uh, I'll see if I can get the map up or they have a system map that shows you like the different zones there's civilian military and industrial Uh, militaries where you're going to find things like the command posts and turrets and weapons and stuff like that. Whereas the industrial, you'll find like the refineries, the power supplies, and and what have you. But let's go ahead and do a bit of a scan here and see what we can find. And it zooms me right out for some reason. Don't know why. Alright, so that would be us there. And why is it still showing my, my old maneuver? I have no idea. But let's do a scan, shall we? See what we can find. Holy jeez, man. Wow. Oh, that's all around Beth here. Wow, wow. There's a lot of junk around here. Module. Derelict. Bro. Let's go check out Bro. CTM, a T-section, 
And it's all derelicts. Somewhere there's going to be a command module. I probably could. Hey, speaking of command module, it's a warp here. Uh, this won't take very long to go get there at all. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's actually bring that down a minute. Okay. It actually looks like we're falling into the planet. Oh my god, I see something white on there. It's a base. I don't know if you see that little pixel right where, just above con just above where contacts was. But, yeah. This won't take long to get here. But well, yeah, uh, I'm thinking of attempting to get a couple episodes in in a row here. Uh, oh my god, we're going to warp right into the planet. This will be fun. But, uh, yeah, I, I still don't know what happened with that wipe. Usually they do it when they do it as a patch or an update, but it wasn't like they did anything afterwards. Like there was no hot fix or anything. Oh, we just missed a broken marble. And one thing I noticed too is uh, when I was warping, you could actually see broken marble actually show up right now. It's just sort of bouncing back and forth, but we're going to be staying around this particular moon, so it's not going to do anything. Uh, also, I like to try to learn the system a little more, figure out where all these moons are, because I want to check out one of these doomed derelicts, doomed outposts. You know, if it's going to be something that's still powered up and has a, a defense system, you know, it could be a little more interesting. But we, as for, for what I saw from the last one, there's only a couple of turrets, but you know, the stations are obviously going to vary in size. But, yeah, so I got my, uh, I forgot to mention, too, I, I named uh, the ship here Starbug 2, and I'm just going to keep doing that, changing the names every time I have to restart, I'll have to change it, and eventually, and that way I can find, it'll give me an idea of how many times I've actually had to restart because of server wipes. But we are going to be out of warp here in a second, a couple of seconds, actually, and hopefully we come in fairly close to it. I do notice the difference with the warp times. Hey, there's two command modules. Ooh. Which one are we taking here? I don't know. Let's uh, find out where they are. Uh, they're right up there. Still haven't heard anything yet about when the engines are going to come back on. They're going to be enabled. I know you can are buttons to turn them on but as far as I know they're not actually in use okay now I'm hoping that there's nobody at this one I don't have to worry about protecting myself never good to die on the first episode technically first episode because it was the, uh, the missing character save there's a few things out here oh yeah there's a derelict too Maybe we'll check out that derelict first. Slow her down a little bit. Uh, the derelict is to my... Oh, that's right in front of us. It's on the way. So I might get in a little closer here. I'm going to actually try to match velocity with it. Or something. And I was told 130 meters. So we will check this out for sure. Is that really a command module? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And it's upside down. That's why I didn't see it. Let's slow it down. Okay. So 134, 33, 32, 31. And there we go. And it's not letting me match velocity. I have to be actually aimed at it. And look at that. It's an old start, old lifeboat. And it doesn't want to park for some reason. Let's try this. Get out of here and try it again. No. Why are you not working? I'll try to get you right on. Uh, I gotta check uh, commands here. 
And that is glossary now. Why? Uh, settings, controls. Should be still M. Match target velocity. Yes, M. So I have no idea what is going on here. Let's try this one more time and then I'm just, just going to do it manually. And why is not? There we go. There we go. Now it worked. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe it has to be under 100. So, uh, I wonder if it would be worthwhile checking them both out. Not too far away. And what do I have for oxygen? Not much. I think I have some on me. Oh, I got plenty. I uh, have a little bit of a top up here. Sounds like I'm flushing the toilet. Alright, we are good. I can't remember what the button was to actually take things out of your hand. Hmm. Just in case. And just in case, I'm going to reload it too. I uh, have it loaded. Okay. Let us go. See what goodies you can find. Oops. I need that jetpack in my helmet. And let's close the door. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if you can still find the, the EVA suit on the command module. I know you have to go to the, the industrial area to find it. But as far as I know, even though Bethir is supposedly a civilian planet, or civilian zone, Broken Marble is actually a military zoned planet, so that's why we're gonna find the command module here. And that's just basically the loot distribution. Uh, they was talking to that they're making it more worth your while. The further away you have to go to find stuff, the better it's gonna be. So who knows what we're gonna find at the far edge of the system, where it's even with the the new warp update, it's gonna still take us two hours to get there, maybe. I know to get here to Broken Marble didn't take long. It would have taken about half an hour at least. Uh, let's see, let's go to the derelict first. Now hopefully there's nobody nearby. You know, I don't know if these turrets are highly visible all the time. I wonder if that's got its own power supply. Oh wow. I've never I've never seen Never seen a derelict version of this before. Wow. Let me go check this out. Gotta get that light going. Ooh, what are those? Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing. Alright, let's see what we can find here. What's in here? Well, maybe we can find that pistol. And... Oh, you're not going to let me open you, are you? Why not? Because you probably got nothing in there anyways. And this isn't the usual command module. This is something else. Or, uh... Oh. And I can't open anything. Uh, Got to do a relog here. Well, I don't think it's a server issue because, you know, I could top up my jetpack, no problem. But what is this? Looks like a clip for the other gun. It is. Another, ooh, advanced impact. It's a new one. Yeah, I don't know why I can't open anything. Can't open this and I can't open the lockers. I'm wondering if maybe this particular module is bugged because I can't open this either. But let's go see what else we have around here. Quickly, because I have that command module staring me in the face. Come and get me, come and get me. Hmm. Yeah, this is def not the same starter one we start with. Uh, let's go up. Oh, let's go down here. I don't think I've been down here yet. Oh, so, so disorientating sometimes. You're constantly moving around in a three-dimensional way. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. I'm 
I think it's bugged. I can't open anything. Oh my god, there's a bug net here. I can't get out. Mm. I'm gonna go up this way. Oh, and I hit an eye beam. So what I'm gonna do? Let's let's get this out of my hand. Oh, that's not the way it goes. There. So now let's see if we're gonna get attacked. Oh wait, these don't have airlocks, do they? No, they don't. Hmm. I wonder if we should go in or bring it home first. Yeah, let's, go. let's bring it home. Let's bring it home. Where's that mule of mine? Uh, oh, I want to hit that thing. Uh, let's see, that's the other stick command module. I wish it was possible to actually take two objects at once. I'd bring them both back just for the hell of it. Okay. Let's hop in here. I'm actually wondering if there's like a back entrance to, or like not necessarily back entrance, but a, you know, a secret way in. Something that's got an airlock on those things. But I guess I could dock with it. Let's do that. Let's dock with it. Go inside. Check it out. All right, we are set the dock here. So I'm actually gonna do a cut here. And I'll bring you back when we're just about ready to connect. Alright, well I decided I was just going to bring it bring it back. Uh, just got here, I walked three kilometers away. Uh, but we are here, uh, let's go ahead and uh, just decouple this thing. Uh, that should have worked. I, I should have had it, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, I didn't dock with it. I grappled it. I'm pretty sure I did. Well, if it is there, I should be able to see it. Yeah, it is there. Uh, it doesn't want to decouple, though. I don't know why. Let's, uh, let's try the lever again. Ugh, stuck on the whole floor again. Ow. At least I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> I don't have to worry about hurting myself. But let's go and try uncoupling this thing again. Weird. Hmm. Well, let's try a relog. Alright, well, logging out worked. It actually did decouple. Uh, they do have some server issues. But that's okay. You know, for a game that's not even point, version point 0.3 yet, it's pretty damn good if you ask me. So we're going to go out and uh, hopefully I don't have to do anything to the command module. Uh, I do have my airlock set to go. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dock this thing to my station. And then I'm going to dock to the command module. And then, and then we're going to arm ourselves just in case, because you never know... If this is, if this is, we'll call it a rogue module. You know, if there's turrets there and I'm not authorized, it's gonna, they're gonna take me out. So the only one I really have to worry about is the one in the main, main entrance there where the four airlocks connect. And that's the one that's up on the ceiling there. Uh, good thing is apparently they're pretty bad aim, or, or at least inside sh modules. So we'll see how this turns out. Okay. Well, at least I know how to find these things now. Okay. And why is my station not showing up? Why isn't anything showing up? Oh, there it is. That makes sense. So we want the command module, wherever that thing went. Right over there. We'll take a little peek inside first. And never know, right? 
Although it doesn't look like the power is on, so I don't think we're going to have anything to worry about. But let's take a little look in the bridge here. And you can see right here. Are those windows taken out? No. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they changed it a little bit. Yeah, power is definitely out. But this is why it's, they have so many... Why this game is so demanding. Because anytime you're around a station, it doesn't matter how far you are, they have to be able to draw this. Oh, don't tell me this is a derelict. I, it almost looks like there's an opening on the other side there. Either that or it's just not rendering properly. And I think that's all it is. It's just not rendering properly. Let's go take a look in here first. Let's see if I can see inside. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see if that turret's there or not. Oh, I see you. I see you. Hmm. Yeah, this will be fun. So now the question is... Do we deal with this first? How far is the station? The station is... Seems to be drifting away, so that's good. Alright, so how are we going to do this then? Uh, well, let's just go ahead and dock it and see what happens. Now, where is that RCS? It was somewhere down here. There it is. It's on this disconnector here. Oh, I saw something red. Gotta make sure there's no turrets on the outside. You never know where they have these things. Okay. So, let's uh, see if I can get in here. Well, at least it'll let me dock with it. So, I guess it doesn't really matter which docking port we're using. And we want our airlock. I guess I have to activate it from the inside. Well, I guess we're going to just dock with this then. Because apparently I can dock my ship to it. So let's find, let's find Starbug. Where are you, Starbug? There you are. Alright. I'll save you the board and we'll bring you back when we're ready to dock. Well, it turns out I can't actually dock to this. I have to activate the... the the latch on the inside, so we have to storm it. Uh, I try to top up my jetpack for oxygen, but sadly, I don't have much. So we're gonna just go in and uh, see if we take that turret out. I think that's the only one that's on here. But yeah, uh, let's go do this. The reflection on the visor gets so disorientating sometimes. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure I can have my gun equipped and still be able to activate doors, because I was able to open a door with a battery in my hand, so, unless it automatically takes it out, actually, so I gotta hang on for this, because I gotta, I gotta blow the hatch, and maybe what I'll do is I'll do the other side, because they're drifting away from the ship in the station. So I'll go on this side, where the RCS is. The one that's all nicely lit up. Okay, let's go down a little bit. Oh, and goodbye. Okay, it didn't move too far, that's good. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Huh. So they can fire through doors. Can I? That's the question. Mm. How do you get in there then? 
I think I could try to get in the Jeffrey's tube. Alright, let's try this. I have an idea where he is. I don't, oh, maybe the other door did open. Did I get it? Oh. Well, uh, I think we're going to call the episode here. I'm going to have to try this again next time. Uh, sadly, he can shoot me. I can't shoot him. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do about that. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And I will see you in the next episode. Later.